Former Secretary of State and Chairman of the Joint Chiefs, General Colin Powell, has died. The 84-year-old died of complications from COVID-19. He was fully vaccinated but battled underlying conditions, including Parkinson's disease. Meg Oliver takes a look at Powell's extraordinary life of service. When President Bush appointed Colin Powell as Secretary of State, he became the highest ranking African-American official in the history of the United States. His was a true American success story. His parents were Jamaican immigrants who raised him in the South Bronx. After graduating from the City College of New York, he took an Army commission and served in Vietnam. He rose in the ranks, becoming a general, and was appointed the head of the National Security Council by President Ronald Reagan. More honors were to follow. During the next administration, President George Herbert Walker Bush made Powell chairman of Joint Chiefs of Staff, the highest military position in the Defense Department. Again, Powell was the first African-American to hold the post. Operation Desert Storm in 1991 made Powell an even more familiar face. Our strategy to go after this army is very, very simple. First, we're going to cut it off. When he retired from the Army, Powell wrote his autobiography and shared America's Promise, a nonprofit organization dedicated to building character in young people. There was speculation he might run for president, but his wife Alma was against it. Then Powell was called upon by George W. Bush. I am honored, honored to be given the opportunity to return to public service as the 65th Secretary of State. Though initially opposed to the idea, Powell agreed to go along with the Bush administration's plan to forcibly overthrow Saddam Hussein. Using his greatest asset, his popularity with the public, he went before the United Nations and the world to build a case for invading Iraq. Saddam Hussein and his regime are concealing their efforts to produce more weapons of mass destruction. Later, after the United States was firmly entrenched in the war, inaccuracies were found in Powell's speech, and the Bush administration said it acted on faulty intelligence. Powell admitted the U.N. speech was a painful blot on his record and pushed for reform in the intelligence community. I'm so proud that I have had this chance to serve my nation. In 2008, the longtime Republican made news when he endorsed Barack Obama for president. Powell spent his final years in the private sector, but he remained vocal on political issues that were important to him. Meg Oliver, CBS News, New York.